G'day guys, right, you've been asking for it, here it is, we're going to give you the full rundown of the new EC Chev 2500 HD build. got this truck earlier in the year, around February. We got on a GMSV last year and said, we need one, we need one now. They did hook us up fairly quick. Thick guys, the new EC Silverado 2500 HD. Let's get it back to the workshop and get into it. Just like we did last time with that Ram, let's rip into it. Start with the obvious guys, as you can see, we have changed the colour. These trucks only come into Australia in four colours. We've done black, we've done a few other things with white, so we thought, let's change it. We looked at wrapping options, then we went away from changing it. And then we worked with the guys at CSA up the road at Yatla. Chris there, what a legend, he showed us this new colour. It's actually a BMW colour called Drivet Grey. We knew we had to have it. We fully stripped everything from the bottom up. It's a full spray in and out, not just your closed door. Okay, it really pops in the sun, heaps of depth. We think it suits this car absolutely perfect. For any of you Chev owners, you would have noticed the step is gone. Big sort of ugly step. There is options to change them to the shorter GMC ones, but not. Nah, we got rid of it. Again, the guys at CSA, Chris, fully infilled that with a steel panel, all done properly. So no more step. While we're at the front, guys, you can see in the lights here, we've added a bit of touch to the factory light. The guys done it in-house. They've done an amazing job. Put some RGBs through the factory fogs here, just to give it that bit of a party touch. Our winch cradle here slash bar that we've got from the States. We are the Australian distributor for this bar. It's called a Pro Light Bar. It's fully steel. It houses inside the factory steel bumper there okay so these cars have the chevs and the gmc's come out with a steel bar so there's no real need to to replace to a full bull bar unless you are at risk of hitting roos and stuff guys but still plenty of protection with this it houses the runva 13 xp winch with the factor 55 hook there and we've got the uh, rigid 31 inch light bar in there nice and flush all rated recovery points fits in there so neat without disturbing this big tough front end look check out these we love these combo we use them on all our builds black bear and the kmc combo running the black bear 37 12 and a half 20 all-terrain tire absolutely love them we've tested them in snow beach mud you name it they're living up the task and the drivability on the highways and that's super quiet and smooth okay so the xd kmc 20 by 10 wheel it just looks awesome nice bit of dish bit of bling really suits this truck so in the front, we've got, it's a BDS three inch lift. We've got Kibbe Tech full billet upper control arms and the King 2.5 shocks, okay? Relatively simple, not changing too much, still keeping it really tough with those King shocks, just absolutely changing the way it drives. Super, super comfortable. The rear suspension, guys, our favorite model of the vehicle. We've ripped out the leaf springs there in the steel bin. We've gone with a Kelderman full air four link setup. Out of the United States, we've done a few of these kits. They're absolutely bulletproof. Good for stupid loads on the back here, okay? We're not even close. It's a full falling system, so adjustable trailing arms allowing us to set all the different pinion angles absolutely perfect where they need to be. Full airbag setup, so yeah, we can go up, down, maintain that ride right height no matter what we got on the back here. Paired it up with a King 2.5 shock. Again, super, super comfort. On topic of air, we've got a killer air system to back it up with the twin 
Viair triple four setup. Out of the United States again, guys, 100% duty cycle, fully waterproof. We've got two three gal tanks mounted in here, all powered off the Switch Pro in the cab and our slave Switch Pro here. Compressors on, airbags up and down, whatever. We can also do it on our phone, okay? We've got our outlet set all around the car, both sides and front and rear nitto fittings, making it super easy to pump up. While we're at the back, you can see this awesome setup we've made, okay? So we made this in-house, we've got fridge, on this side, we've got a full kitchen. We've got a twin induction cooker. We've got a pantry at the back and we've got a Dometic sink in the middle, okay? Is it a bit of wasted space? Maybe, maybe not. We love it. There's heaps of storage in behind this fridge. It is a bit of a prototype. We may change it. We've done another one where we just had the one side, okay? We are looking to design another tray in here for more storage in there. We've got everything we need. We've got a full power system housed behind here, 200 amps of DCS lithium. Big Victron inverter, okay? Three DC-DC chargers. We're charging at about 90 amps, okay? Monitored by the full Victron GX system here. Outlets here, RCD, we've got USB, ando, solar in, solar out, all off our slave switch bro here that we can control lights, air, our water pump inverter. Well, guys, you can see what we've done here. We haven't gone the full canopy. A lot of you thought we would have. We do do the GCI trades like in-house every day. Absolutely love them. I miss the canopy I have, but at the moment I'm absolutely loving this. Again, we might change to a canopy later. At the moment, we've gone for a bit of a different build, okay? Well within GVM, a little bit more affordable. Set up for that one night, no worries at all, okay? So we've got the big 70-inch tub rack out of the States. Rigid lights the whole way around, okay? First time using these rigid lights out of the States. They're the dual color lights on the side with the amber and the clear, okay? We've got the amber clear light bar here for when we're, when we're set up at night at camp. The best rooftop tent on the market in my opinion, absolutely love it, the Bush Company AX27. We have already tested this in hectic snow, rain, you name it, it's held up to the task, absolutely magic. And have a look how much shade we have got here. It is a clever shade. So full 360 awning, okay. Basically guys, it's two 180s either side with this joining bit. So we can just run the one 180 and do a strap straight back to here. Super easy, unzip that up into your tent. Zipping back up for the full 360 shade the whole way around the car. Again, super lightweight. I think they're 12 kilos each. Absolutely loving them. The canvas is the absolute magic quality. And they are actually made in-house under the same shed as EC Off-Road. Moving on to the roof, guys. As we do on all our builds, Rhino roof rack and backbone. We've got the big, rigid 50-inch adapt bar on the front. This light bar is incredible. Wanted a bit of a different look, and it surely does that. It's got RGB lights in it. It's got a spot or a flood light. It's got a little controller. It's even got GPS. The thing is next level. On top of the roof rack platform, we have got the GME and the Cellfire aerial. So again, guys, every single build must have GME, XRS, UHF. Absolutely love them. And we've got a 180 watt solar panel up there for our power system with pumps in a lot of power when we're out in the sun. And of course, wouldn't go anywhere with the uh, Max tracks on the other side. We've got four Max tracks, two orange, two in the charcoal. They come factory, super luxury, leather seats, heated cooling, heaps of room. We've got our Switch Pro 12 ganger here just to control all our lights and airbags. We've got the Banks module here. We do want to quite a few of these lately. That's a uh, Pedal Monster and Derringer tuning module. We've got our EC carbon steering wheel we've changed over just to give it that nice bit better feel. Guys, let's get stuck into our Android wireless CarPlay module. So our EC CarPlay module transforms the factory system into a full Android system. So you can see what I run here, some of the crowd favorites, Spotify, YouTube, Netflix. We've got HEMA Maps. Okay, Waze is a good one. Okay, KO, yeah, we watch the footy and the V8s while we're camping, not driving. Seabreeze, we check the weather before we're going out in the boat or check it while we're heading to the ramp. Okay, NRL app, the DCS app to connect to our battery in the rear, the Channel 9 app. These are just some of the apps you can get on this module. With our Android module, that we do heaps of these for anything with CarPlay. Plug it in, YouTube while you're not driving, HEMA Maps while you are driving, Google Maps, Spotify, everything on there. Look at that online right now. Last but not least, guys, the big powerhouse under this bonnet. It's the big Duramax 6.6 litre turbo diesel. The thing is a weapon. Okay, we've sent it to Reese at GNL Performance. He is a wizard when it comes to these engines. Just done a, just done a tune, that's it. Okay, a little bit of an upgrade to the gearbox. We've done an airbox as well. This thing is close to 600 horsepower and 1,700 newton meters of torque. Unbelievable figures and still not even working hard. And the economy, guys, is incredible for the size of the truck. Okay, 
Also guys, as you can see, this thing is shiny as the boys at Gold Coast Diamond Detailing have done a full ceramic coating and a bit of a buff to get that new paint absolutely shining. Okay guys, that's a wrap of our Chev 2500 build. I hope you loved it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel for you can stay updated to the more mods we've got coming for this thing and a couple of our new builds on the horizon. They're going to be next level again. I'm telling you, stay tuned. So guys, if you have an American truck that you want any more info on this build or any info for your truck that we can help you with, we are building these trucks every week into massive tours or just the weekend warrior, let us know. Get in touch today.